Let's go on. Yeah. How would you kind of sum up this year for you? I mean, four different stops, a lot of different hockey. Like, how, how do you kind of characterize the whole experience for you? Yeah, I think uh, I learned a lot. That's definitely probably the biggest thing. Definitely uh, grew a lot as a person, as a player. Um, obviously, like you said, a lot of different teams, a lot of different places, and uh, you know, different voices from coaches and teammates and all that. But um, I think overall, really um, had some pretty cool experiences here, obviously. Um, and it, just learned a lot about myself, learned a lot about um, what it takes to be at, you know, be at the pro level and what it takes to uh, you know, be a good player at that level. And, um, yeah, some ups and downs, but I think overall uh, really uh, – a really fun year for me. Definitely grew, grew a lot. Ron Francis told us here yesterday that he thought you were playing your best hockey at the end here in the series against Hershey. And such. Do, you, do you kind of agree with that? That, that was we're the best, you, best you've been. Yeah, I would agree. I think um, you know I, I was I was just playing hockey. I was having fun. I think um, I was you know looking forward to coming to the rink every day and um, you know enjoying playing in the playoffs and being in that atmosphere. You know going that far and making a run like we did you know that that's that's fun hockey you, know, you enjoy playing those games and playing in uh you know those, those loud buildings and you know having those experiences and um yeah i was really really happy with the way i was playing and um i'll we'll try to kind of you know build off that at the end of the season and how i was playing there kind of build that into you know this development camp and then through training camp as well you uh you, you played a lot of games this year i mean you've done it in the past at, at the junior level you've played a pretty hefty <coughs> schedule what, what's the difference doing it when, when a lot of those games are professional games yeah, games. yeah. You, you really got to take care of your body. You really got to be, um, you know, really keying in on you know nutrition and sleep and hydration. You know, you think you know, those are kind of cliche things to say nowadays, but you know, you, you don't realize just how important those things are and how much an impact those things have on your performance. And uh, you know, in, in Coachella, we had an unbelievable team. You know, Mike Donahue is um, you know world class. You know, strength conditioning really. Um, making sure everyone's you know staying healthy, making sure everyone's taking care of their bodies properly, and um, they gave us all the resources, all the opportunities to to do that. And um, yeah, I think just just to go along with a grind of a season like that, and you know through a long playoff run, um, you know take care of yourself is really important. And um, I think you definitely do a good job with that. Is, it, is that part of the pro experience? Is that, <laughs> is that what differentiates it from let's say major junior? For sure. Yeah, I think that's all about kind of learning experience and you know growing into you know the pro atmosphere and the pro lifestyle and learning how to. Uh, you know, it'll be a pro. You know, you have to really take care of your body more. You're playing against you know bigger, stronger guys. You're going to get beat up more. You're you're going to get sore, bumps and bruises, and, and whatnot. So, um, and you're also on the road. You know, you're in and out of hotels, and uh, you're you're not kind of eating at home as much. You're at restaurants and stuff. So, you got to you know find those those areas to you know really take care of yourself and uh, really kind of manage uh, you know what you do off the ice. Shane, was there any time during the season when you woke up and you said? What city am I in? What <laughs> league am I in? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. I think, um, you know, wherever I was for whatever amount of time, I was always, you know, that that's where my mindset was. I was focused on that, and um, I wasn't trying to, you know, think of, of, of another team or another situation. I was really, you know, my mindset was there. I wanted to have my full, you know, focus and full, you know, attitude on, on you know, where I was, you know, playing at that moment. So um, I wouldn't say I was really, you know, thinking like that at all. This time last year was quite the whirlwind. You went right from the draft, came here, jumped right into it. How different does this year feel coming into your second year? Yeah, feel uh, definitely feel older, that's for sure. Uh, definitely feel like uh, uh, a little more comfortable coming to this environment. You know, I've obviously been here, um, you know, practice in this arena and, um, you know, been around the coaches, been around all the staff and, um, you know, as much as I don't want to say, I'm kind of one of the older guys now, I'd say, here. I um, want to try to be a little bit of a mentor as much as I can towards these younger guys. But, um, yeah, definitely feel a little more comfortable, a little more um, at ease here. But, uh, yeah, it's nice to be back. It's really fun being here. And, um, you know, a good skate today and you know, great crowd as well. So that was always, always fun to be back. Shane, from, from the eight games you played up here and the two months you were around this team last year, what do you think is the biggest area you need to make a leap in to, to, to be up here full time and, and be a part of this? Yeah, I think you know, being being competitive and being driven every single shift and having to earn your spot, earn your ice. You know, that was something that I learned a lot in Coachella. You know, I didn't get a lot of ice time. You know, through a lot, a lot of the playoffs, so you have to take advantage of, of every second you got. You have to take advantage of of the role you're in. You have to really kind of embrace that that, that atmosphere and kind of the situation that you're in. And um, I feel like I was able to do that at Coachella and really you know took steps forward. And um, I think you know I can take that mindset you know through here at Dev Camp and through training camp as well to. You know, I, I got to earn my spot. I got to earn my ice time, and you know, prove and show to the coaches that you know I belong there, and that I can um, you know earn my spot and deserve to be on that team. The Kraken offered you a chance to have a rest after your your last playoff run, Coachella. What, what made you want to come out here? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I want to be a part of this. I really want to, um, first of all, you know, just, just be around the, the new draftees. You know, they're always... Um, always cool seeing seeing some other some other guys getting drafted and um, you know being I guess only a year older but I feel like I have a lot of a lot of experience at the pro level and um, you know be able to be a mentor and help teach and help those guys learn as much as I can and um, you know be be a role model and be a leader here is what I really want to do and um, yeah also just just love being here love skating and uh, yeah definitely uh, you know they kind of kind of gave me the option to come but I definitely. That was no no question. Definitely wanted to come out here and skate Def Camp. Who, who have you had a chance to talk about? Have you spoken with Shala about his experience? Yeah, a little bit. Just kind of talking to all those guys and um, being able to, to get to know them. You know, all, all the kind of guys I've never really known before this, just kind of getting to know them for the first time here. So, um, yeah, it's been great to get to know him. Uh, you know, Sally, uh, he's uh, not not much English, but he's, he's a great guy. He's a, he's a funny guy, and he uh, threw a pretty good pitch the other night too. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I remember him being one of their best players. I think um, he's tough to play against. He was always, um, you, I was on the ice a lot against him. I remember noticing him out there, and you know, he had a cage on, so he's an underager, and he's still, you know, making that big of a difference at at the World Junior level with guys two, one, two years older than him. And um, yeah, he's he's a really talented player, and definitely uh, excited that he's here in Seattle for sure. How long did it take the full playoff period to come in? <laughs> Um, I mean, it just kept going and going and growing. I think well, by the time it was game seven there, it was the longest it's ever been in my life. I've never really been able to grow it out that much. And uh, the guys on the team were saying it's uh, it's one of the best on the team. So I was uh, definitely pretty proud of that. <laughs> What's your goal for this offseason and for next season? What you say? Yeah, I, I just, you know, I want to keep training. I want to get better. I want to um, I want to try to gain a little bit of, a little bit of muscle mass, gain a little bit of weight. And um you know, I think just just work on all the intangibles, work on all these little things, and uh, you know, skate with pro guys, skate with guys who who are you know established players in the NHL, and see what they do on day to day basis, and you know, the the speed they do practices, the speed um, they they do the workouts and effort intensity and all that, and um, really kind of take that in and really uh, implement that in you know my life and what I do, you know, both on and off the ice, and um, just just grow and develop and. Uh, just to kind of enjoy this whole process in the off season. You look like you put on some muscle mass in the last year. I mean, have you, or am I imagining it? Um, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like I I think just just you know playing at at the pro level for you know the the amount of playoffs that I did. I think that just kind of naturally you, you have to you know adapt and you naturally grow stronger playing against those, those bigger, stronger guys. And um, yeah, I feel like. You know, I don't know if I have or not, but if you think I did, then that's 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 great news. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you.